Marsh game. I was on the way home, she called me. She was like, oh, I'm in Westwood, you want any? Man like, hey, what's happening? Welcome back. What are you, what are you drinking? Let me call Let me from the sun, let me from the... Where were you last week? Already in it. Oh, with who? With who? Who are you holiday with? One of my mates and my friends. What are your friends? Male or female? Female, female. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. she's a friend. Yeah. Darren! It's prep check. Oh, prep check time. Jeez! What are these? Oh, these look fresh. They are fresh still. Did you buy them just for. I bought just, them for the fans. For too. the fans? Yeah, man. The, the 106 subscribers. Mad, isn't it? <laughs> Lou, let me have a chat with you. What's happening? What's happening? How's it going? I'm good, man. You right? How's your week? Ups and downs, but we go, isn't it? We move. That's it. Pitch looking fantastically. Aiden's definitely going to drop the day, boy. Why? What's he wearing? Zero balance. What did we tell him to buy? We told him to buy studs. What did he do? Buy molds. Bonkers. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Sunday League Football with ourselves, Sporting Continental. Today, after three weeks of cup games, we're back into league action. Luckily for us, we remained top of the league for those three weeks as the teams below us had quite a few games cancelled. So today, we've got the opportunity to go five points clear on top of the table. Both West Norwood and Kudos Athletic, who are joint second, don't have games today. West Norwood's game got called off. So we've got the chance to go five points clear ahead of next week's massive tie against them. But first, we've got to concentrate on Wig Army, our opponents today. They play at Dun Donald Rec and I must say the pitch looks absolutely butters. You will see it throughout the game, the pitch cuts up even more than it already is. You can see it there looking down at Sammy. You can literally hear him jogging away. Before we get to the game, as always, if you haven't yet, make sure you click that subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, give us a like, leave a comment down below. And if you enjoy our videos, make sure you share it with your friends, tell them to share it with theirs, tell them all to press subscribe. And without any further ado, let's get it. So let's quickly run through today's starting lineup, a whole host of changes for us today. In goal, we've got number one is Crazy Ray, Ray Banks. Two changes to the back line, Jeff the Chef comes in at right back, Terry Oben comes back into the side at left back and Hugo and Juppie remain centre backs. In the middle of the park we've got Aiden coming back to the side, playing with Lewis and the captain for today is VJ in the absence of Matt. Off forward line we've got Dan through the middle returning to the side also, Sammy on the right and Darren on the left. We do have two subs today, one of them is Dami Amusu and the other one is the gaffer himself, the Badger. So the referee getting his final checks done and blows the whistle and the game is on the way and it's Dan to play it back to Aiden. Aiden plays it out to our right back Jeff. Jeff's first start of the season today, I believe. Opponents today, as mentioned before, Wig Army, what do we know about them? We know that they're the only side in our division that has taken points from West Norwood. West Norwood being the only other side as well as ourselves in the odd division that are currently unbeaten. As said before, we play them next week. What a game that's going to be. But let's concentrate on today for now. So six minutes in and I've already got to tell Juppie to close them. Winger there with a good nutmeg on Juppie. Juppie recovers, misses the ball. He comes back to the winger. He'll put this ball into the box. But it's an easy claim for Ray. Now for those that have been watching us, they know two things. When you watch us, you see goals and you see Ray doing shambolic things. 10 minutes in, not much to talk about, so I'm going to show you a poor corner from Darren. Ref says it went out. Goal kick. So it's a throw on this near side. Jeff plays it to Hugo. Good feet by Hugo. They're getting between two players. Plays it back to Jeff. Jeff back to Hugo. Hugo plays it to Sammy. He's a player too far. No, Sammy gets there. Gets a cross into the box. It's a volley by Dan. And it's a very good block by Wig Army's number two. We've taken Darren off corners and it's Lewis to send this one into the box. He floats it in at the near post. Hugo attacks it. Four years ago when he had the hairline, he hits the target. We pick it up here with Terry playing the ball out wide to Darren on the far side. Darren sets it back to Terry. Terry clips it forward to Dan. Dan brings it down. He's allowed to turn by Wigami. Gets away from the defence and he's got Vijay at the edge of the box. He looks up. He picks him up. Vijay turns. 
lays it to Lewis. Lewis has a shot and it's blocked. It's not the last time I'm going to be saying that today. Samuel allowed time to turn and face the defender. He gets the ball into the box. Falls to Dan. Back to goal. Tries to shoot. Gets blocked. And falls to VJ. Absolute shiniesta. Ball here with Aiden. He picks up VJ. VJ drops a shoulder and turns the other way. Look at how his Durag moves. He plays it to Dan. Has a shot. And it's almost deflected in. Darren over the far side with time and space to drive forward, looks up, spots Sammy on the opposite side of the pitch, plays it long to him, doesn't quite reach him by his feet but he will get there anyway. Sammy allowed to turn by the defender, defenders allowed him to turn a few times today and face him, close them. Sammy puts it through his legs, going into the box here, cuts it back, air shot by Dan, falls to Darren but we're going to get it away. <coughs> he's at it again he's at it again it's Ray Banks and he's at it again so corner for Wigo Army they do have quite a few tall players the ball will be floated into the box and it'll be won by the big man Lance I believe and that's just gone over I may even have skimmed the ball don't know how many times I have to say this today. Lewis getting numb right there by number 14, but it's Captain Durag to the rescue. But the referee deems that a free kick. Not too sure what he saw there. Aiden on the ball, plays it out wide to this near side to Jeff the chef. Jeff takes a touch, plays it back to Aiden. Aiden first time into the box, Darren gets up and he heads that over the bar. So half-time whistle about to blow. We've got free kick in a good position. Juppy sends it into the box and is cleared by the defender out wide. Only as far as Dan. Dan being forced out. This near side by the number 12. Shimmy's passing. Gets across into the box. But the other defender is there to clear it. And the referee will blow the half-time whistle. That was awful. It, no, you know what? It wasn't even awful. Yeah, But it's not up to our usual standards at all. Yeah. It's not up to our usual standards and it needs to be better. It 100% needs to be better because it's, it's just not... I think Defensively, we're doing okay. The whole team as a whole. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Defensively as a whole, we're doing okay. However, going forward, we need urgency in everything. Boys, we, we got to remember that every time that we play a team this season, it's going to be a cup final for them. You, these lot came off nil nil at half time. Celebrate. Okay. Right, yeah. Celebrate. Boys, the ball goes out for a throw. It's nil nil. We need to win. Don't just. Yeah. Yeah, get some tempo. Just get some tempo. There is no tempo in it whatsoever. Free kicks. Everyone, be alert. Take the quick one. Yeah. Don't slow it down. Let them set. We need to be quicker. Boys, if you're in and around the box, one touch out your feet, have a shot. Test the keeper. We need to hit the target one time. We don't know what the keeper's like. Because they are going to have at least one chance in this half. We need to have 10 all on target. We need to do better, boys. They haven't troubled us much. I don't really want to talk about them. I want to talk about us. And going forward. Because we, it, it needs to be better. It's, it's not good going forward, man. We, we, you know what? We get the ball. Daz, drive it in, man. Bro, we can't run in this. I like the one too. I want to run. Yeah, but exactly. Then let's get the cross. The ball has to go. Yeah. We need to move the ball about. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hundred. And if you are and if you are going to put it over, for example, Terry did it. It hits the ground, and Dan's gone past it. So put more on it. Yeah, you have to put more. Put more on it. Um. If 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 we're going to get on to 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 like for example saying Dan should put the balls in, then I'm going to need you at the back post, Sam. We've, yeah. we've taken an extra time. Right, if, sure. we're, if we're taking anything right. from what we've said, yeah, it needs to be quicker. Right. The balls need to be put a bit further over the top. If they're going to go that way, yeah. and crosses need to come in the box. The with, and shooting. That's in it. In terms of controlling the game, it's not been terrible. It's not been bad, yeah. But, yeah. It, we, yeah. but we yeah. need to be better. Yeah. That's yeah. all it is. So with the team levels at half time, we're getting ready here yeah. to kick off in the second half. It's Big Army that's going to get the game restarted. Message from us is simple, move the ball quicker, have a little bit more quality in the final third. Loose ball in the middle there and it's won by Aiden, tries to play it through to Sammy. It's cut out by number 14, Dan gets it, number 14 makes a tackle again, plays it into the middle of the pitch. Number 10 turns away from VJ and plays it out to the left back, the left back gets there before Darren plays it forward to number 9. Number 9 takes a touch and he plays it back out to the left back again. 
plays it forward to number four. He tries to play it back first time to him, messes up, but it actually works out for him. Number 11's in on goal. Jeff fell asleep, and it's a good save by Ray, headed up in the air by Joppy. And it's cleared away by Hugo towards VJ. VJ now gets it away on the turn, plays it down the line to Sammy. You can hear the ball squishing there. So much mud. Sammy driving forward. Don't slow down is the message from VJ. Comes inside, still going. Sammy gets into the box, away from the defender. Still Sammy plays it to Dan. Dan on the turn has a shot and it's blocked brilliantly by the defense. And it's Lewis with a follow up and it's just wide. Mental passage of play there in the beginning of the half. Brilliant block by the Wig Army player to deny Dan a goal. Ball in the air here from Jeff, brought down beautifully by Dan. Brilliant ball over the top. Darren's in behind the goal on his right foot, and that's just wide of the post. It's a good tackle here from Jeff in the middle of the park. Plays it inside to Dan. Dan picks out Darren again. The flag stays down through on goal. Goes for the scoop. It's a good save by the goalkeeper. He was off his line very early there to close down Darren. Now, I have played with Terry for a good 11 seasons and not once in my life have I ever seen him do this. It's a superb hit by our left back with his right foot. Deserves a replay. Only one thing on his mind once he's cut inside. Head in top corner. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant save by the goalkeeper. The cyclist behind the goal agrees. So free kick in a good position for us. 58 minutes into the second half and it'll be Dan to take it. And it's another good save by the goalkeeper. It's a corner for us and it's Lewis to take it into the box. Number two flicks it clear. Only towards the opposite side to Dan. Puts it back in the area. It's Darren with a volley and it's blocked. And Juppie with a header and it's put that over the bar. It's got to be said, this half has been all lost except for the first minute and Dan playing it through to Sammy. Number two is there again, clearing it only as far as Lewis. Lewis looking for the back stick. This looks like it's going in and it's hit the bar and it falls to number nine. Number nine clears it out only as far as Aiden. It's nicked off Aiden by Wigger Army's number 15, but it falls to Jeff. Jeff plays it to Hugo. Hugo plays it around the corner to Aiden. Aiden escapes a few tackles, plays it forward to Lewis. Lewis gets the ball into the box. It's cleared again by Wigger Army, but Aiden will bring this under control. Bodies the defender there, spots Hugo at the edge of the box, finds him, takes a touch with his right, has a shot with his left, and has missed the target. Right now, to us, it feels like it's going to be one of those games, and hey, you see Aiden on the ball playing it to Juppie. Juppie's first touch is in the air, and he lumps it into the box. Is headed out, only as far as VJ has a shot, and it's over the bar. Aiden picking up the ball here, plays it first time over the top to Darren. Brilliant first touch from Darren. The second is just as good there to get away from number eight. He's going out wide, cuts it back inside. It's a good delay there by the defender into the box. And it's a breakdown in communication from VJ and Dan. And it's Lewis on the ball, plays it forward to Dan. Dan turns, the ball probably gets stuck under his feet. The pitch is really cutting up now. Finds VJ, VJ plays it to Darren. Darren will play it back to VJ. VJ takes a touch to set himself and shoots with the next, but the keeper picks that up. So 76 on the clock, we're making a substitution here. Jeff the Chef comes off and Damian Musu comes on. And here you see throw in by Jappi to Sam. Sam puts this into the box. It's floated in behind the defence. It's ahead by VJ. Keeper drops in. Terry's there and he's tapped it home. And we have finally broken the deadlock. And it's Terry with the goal. We saw him have an unbelievable shot earlier in the day. This time he puts it into the back of the net. The keeper's dropped that in his path. The keeper will be absolutely gutted that he's done that. He's made some fantastic saves today. Pull into the box by Sammy as we see it here, headed by VJ. Keeper saves it down low, but Terry's there for the tap in because he couldn't hold on to it. And it's in the back of the net, and we've broken the deadlock. And it's 1 0. Terry's first goal of the season. He's dedicating that to his firstborn. He's just had a kid, which is why he's been away. What a way to mark your comeback with a goal against this stubborn Wigami defense. Game resumes and it's blocked there by Sammy. Sammy with a fantastic ball over the top in behind to Darren. Darren here is in on goal, takes a touch to set himself, puts it across the box and the defender gets there just before Dan. 
Seven minutes of no more time to go. We have a throw and it's Terry. Throws it to Sammy. Sammy wins the ball there into the middle of the park. He shows good strength. Gets away from about four of the Wig Army players. He's driving into the box. You're not catching him unless he slows down. Sends number 15 to go get a happy meal with a cutback. Looks up. Finds Dan. And it's in the back of the net. And we've extended our lead. It's 2-0. And it's Dan with the goal. And Sammy with a fantastic run. He's picked the ball up in our own half and he's ran all the way. And instead of shooting, he chops it, leaving number 15 on the floor. He has a look up, sees Dan unmarked at the back post. Dan sets himself and puts it under the keeper and into the back of the net. He was never going to miss from there. Fantastic goal. And hopefully that's the three points in the bag. I'll give credit to Wigami. They defended and they've defended well today. They've blocked everything. And if he wasn't blocked, the keeper saved it. But they just couldn't stop this man. Sammy coming off there, Badger coming on. Great last contribution to the game by Sammy. We've now got to stay switched on and it's Wig Army with a free kick in the halfway line. They send it forward. Aiden wins the header. Falls to number seven. No, Aiden gets a clear. Number 14 brings it down. I can't see who's played the two. Number 12 on the turn has a shot, but that's not going to trouble Ray. It's another free kick here for Wig Army as they look to pull a goal back, get themselves in the game. It's sent into the box and is won by number 12 but too weak to trouble Ray. Ray there with a throw out to Badger. Badger gets away from the right back, I believe, but he runs it off the pitch. So it's number seven, punts the ball in the air and it's Hugo with a composed header to Juppie under pressure. Juppie gets away from number four, sends this over the top to Dan. Dan is in behind the defense here. Can we find a third? Dan cuts inside, edge of the box, sets himself, has a shot, but it's straight at the keeper and he holds on to that one. And with that, that'll be the end of the game. The referee about to blow the final whistle. And I want to give a massive shout out to Wig Army. They clearly came today with a game plan. And they defended very, very well. They blocked everything we dashed at them. At one point, we thought it was going to be one of those days. And we were going to walk away with only one point. However, the boys persevered and we managed to break through. And for that, we get the three points. We go five points clear. Before we have a look at the league table, as always... Make sure you click like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, give us a like, leave a comment down below, share the video if you've enjoyed it. If you haven't enjoyed it, share it anyway. So let's have a quick look at the league table. As you can see, we sit top of the league with 18 points. Kudos Athletic and West Norwood joint second on 13. Next week's game against West Norwood is massive. Kudos have a cup game, so that gives us a chance to go eight points clear if we win that game. Stay tuned for a word with Badger, Terry and Juppie, and I'll see you guys next week. Hey, who, who do you go on holiday with? My friend. Oh, oh Beng. Good. Welcome back. I know, I know. It's been long. First off, congratulations on the new baby. Thank you, thank you. Baby thank boy? You. Yes, boy. How's life? Good. He's ready to get his kit on. <laughs> Adapted? Yep. Yeah. Today, back today, got yourself a goal? Yep. One down, four to go. Four to go? Is that your target? Target, five for the season. Five for the season from, from two, left so back. Right. Talk, talk me through. That one shot that you hit. That was the best shot I've had in my life, and the keeper saved it. Yeah, I thought it was going in, hundred percent, hundred percent. And I saw the keeper jump, and he tipped it. I was like, oh. got it. But you still got your goal in the end. Got the goal in the end. Being out of position paid off. Yep. Yeah. Well, we have to gamble, isn't it? They, were, they parked the bus. They had like six at the back. So I thought, let me just stay in there, let the ball come in, and try and nick something. So got it. Hi, <laughs> right, Aiden. Aiden, who are you on holiday with? Who'd you go on holiday with? My friend, my friend. <laughs> what? Bro, what come for you? Ah, huh? pulled my hammy. What happened? Talk to me. He said he, he pulled his hammy, trying to shake someone's hand. Uh, still with us? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still here. We'll do it. We'll play it week by week and see how it goes. But yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm hopefully sorted it out for, for Sunday to be around. Ah, uh, good times. What do you think of the performance today? Hopefully it wasn't toilet. <laughs> um, well, to be honest, it was a slow start. Um, defensively, we were, defensively, we were all right. Uh, going forward, kind of missing that final bit of edge just to shoot in front of it. There was no shots on target in the first half. Um, but the boys were doing the right things. It was just trying to get that 
final bit of uh, creativity um, and some shots off on target? Uh, different type of game today in the sense of, I think it's the first time this season that we've played with a team that have had eight, nine men possibly behind the ball at all times. Uh, as you say, first half struggled a little bit to break it down. What can improve? Well, to be honest, uh, to be honest, I think, yeah, when there's people behind the ball like that, I think that we did very well. It was for the, probably the last 40 minutes. Um, unbelievable that from defending from them, I have to give it to them. Um, but we broke them down. Um, what could improve to not get to that point? I would say uh, the finishing needs to, the first 20 minutes, it seems to be in most games, we like to start a bit slow. Um, for me personally, I, I, I think the first 20 minutes is, is time we should kill off teams um, instead of the last 20 minutes and leaving it that close. But the boys persevered, uh, got two goals, I'm very happy. Basic. Jappy, come, let's get you in here. Let's get, let's, let's get Jappy in here. Rock it! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> second clean sheet in a row. Talk to me. I don't think we were too troubled at the back, to be honest. I think they had that one chance early in the second half, maybe they had a first half as well. But got to be happy with that. And then it's just about being patient, and yep. creating the chances, and finishing it off. It took a bit of time, but once you get the two goals, 2 0, go on, everyone's happy. Uh, fair enough. Um, West Norwood next week, are we expecting similar or different? I don't know, you can't really tell where the team's in this league. Obviously, West Norwood have started well. Um, probably need to start a bit quicker, a bit more tempo in the game, get the ball moving. Probably few more options when we get into the final third. I think we were lacking on possibly cutback options when we got to the byline. People beating the man and then just trying to deliver it to Dan five or six rounds in. So yeah, just need a few more options, a bit more tempo, and I'm sure we'll get another good result. Push us forward, a few more points clear. Good stuff. Good stuff. Cheers, lads.